and also just to follow up with when I was talking about, you know, unification of how we had that stair that we pointed it to the concrete family and slabs. Um, maybe you might want to, if you do want unification between slabs, columns, beams, stairs, and walls, I wouldn't do it in mid project, but you might want to, you know, every once in a while, refresh your approach of data sets to have concrete families, maybe one that is um, pre precast concrete and maybe one that is cast in place concrete. So within precast concrete, you'd have the slabs, columns, beams, but then you'd also want to have the name of your data group for the columns to be column, precast, column, cast in place. So I'm saying it's kind of a, it's another approach if you want to be having this unification. And some other materials you might want to be doing this with is um, for interiors, um, for gyp board, for any type of, you know, having wall, walls and soffits and bulkheads and moldings and things or exterior with stucco and masonry and wood or even metal families. So it's something to look at, and especially now in Connect that we have the three levels of the work set, the workspace and the the data set, we have more locations to be putting our parts in uh, before we only had the project level and the data set, unless you were doing a data set extension, which was kind of difficult, but it's a lot easier now. So it opens up to maybe having um, another approach, depending on what building type you have of what you want, think, how you want things to unify. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.